Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and uh, you know, social media is amazing nowadays. Incredible. Like, it's gotten to the point where I learn about, you know, like, riots and, and overthrowing the government in Libya, the U.S. women's national soccer team scores, or Black Ops patches from Twitter faster than I do from, like, the, the news outlets that I follow, whether they be gaming websites or CNN or, or what have you. So uh, I want to thank you guys for, you know, all, all the guys who write me on Twitter and say, you know what, Woody, uh, you know, what's in this new patch? Do your video about it. We want, to, we want to hear your analysis of the patch. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Love it. I'm glad you brought it to my attention. And uh, I looked at the patch. I looked at some of the details of what are, what's behind these bullet points. And let's get into the video. Uh, the first item, this is one of those rare, I, I guess, glitches or security things that I've actually seen that I've been impacted by. It's addressed an issue with attack dogs causing them to warp under rare circumstances. Uh, I have both seen the dogs go like super fast and get their kills, and I've seen, uh, I've been in lobbies where my teammates have complained, like, what just happened? That dog, you know, did something insane. So it looks like they've got the attack dog warp speed <laughs> all resolved, and that's a good thing. The next two bullet points are pretty similar. Fixed an exploit allowing players to purchase locked classified weapons. These aren't really cool weapons, nothing really amazing. It's the weapons that you get when you buy all the other weapons like the G11 or um, what is it, the Spectre? I don't even remember what the MPL, the last uh, submachine gun you can buy. Um, people allow, uh, being able to buy that uh, you know, too early. And, and fixed an exploit that allows players to get above 15th prestige using combat training player match menus. And uh, I didn't even know about this one. I have noticed a lot of high prestiges, and I wonder if that's related or if it's just that time of the year in the game's life cycle where people are starting to get to that level. Probably a combination of the two. But I went, to, I went online, I did some searching, I did a little research, and found videos that taught me how to use that glitch. And uh, it looks like it's, it's patched now. No, I didn't use that glitch. You'll see I'm still <laughs> first prestige like always. But uh, I do research when I make these videos for you guys. Otherwise, I'd just be reading the bullet points. So, uh, so yeah, they were able to go into combat training mode and, and somehow impact your, your multiplayer thing. And, uh, and that's all fixed now. The next one is improvements to spawn system. Now, I wish I knew what this was. Treyarch has a mindset where they don't want to tell you exactly what they changed about the spawn system. Really, what they do here is um, they, they feel like if they tell you exactly what changes they made, then you wouldn't be forming an opinion based just on how much fun you're having. Instead, you'd be forming a more like intellectual as opposed to emotional opinion, and that's not what they're looking for. So, so what they do is they keep it a secret. They'll just say tweaks to sniper rifle or tweaks to spawn system or improvements to this or that, and they rarely tell you all the changes they made. So um, in the case is no different here. I did a bunch of Google searching. All I found were just, you know, repeats of the same thing. I've checked all David Vondahar's and all JD2020's tweets for the last month. They have not exposed what changes they made to the spawn system. I can tell you what I hope it is. I hope it's changes to the spawn system in demo. Because in demo in particular, the spawns have such an affinity for um, like your own bomb or your own starting spot that it doesn't matter if there's like napalm laying on it. It doesn't matter if there's a guy camping behind you ready to knife you the, the, the millisecond that you spawn. You'll just keep doing it again and again and again. And there are teams of guys out there who just spawn trap in demolition so aggressively that the other team doesn't stand a chance. And, and it's not even about Call of Duty anymore. It's not like normal gun-on-gun -gun play. So, uh, so I'm hoping when they, when they say ch improvements to spawn system that it's the demo spawn system that we're talking about. If any of you guys have details on what it is, then um, uh, you know, leave it in the comments. Maybe I can update this with an annotation as the information starts to leak out. But Google searching, Twitter searching, things like that were not able to, to tell me exactly what changes they made to the spawn system. Address some bugs with custom game settings for capture the flag related to touch return disabled. I've seen that before. Sometimes there were issues where the, the flag didn't return like it was supposed to. So, uh, so yeah, that's all fixed up. Um, added resurrection downloadable content support launching August 23rd. So, um, so as I write, as I do this video, August 23rd is tomorrow. Um, it's it, we're two days from now, depending. It's super late at night. It's past midnight. So, um, uh, so yeah, that, that's probably when the other consoles will get these same updates. Um, I don't know if they have the same exploits with some of these things, but, um, but the, what they typically do is patch these things together, and then with the release of the match 
of the map pack patch, they'll fix some other problems. So anyway, yeah, we're going to get support for the, the World at War zombie maps, but I guess that's already in there because the hardened guys have it. And then certainly the moon zombie map, which I'm totally excited about. Like I, I've watched some gameplay for you. It looks like you can halo jump in it. I wonder if that's true or if it's just trailer magic, but we'll see. We'll see. And then the last thing is check for the moon thing, moon theme. Sorry about that. And zombie soundtrack in the in-game store once you've downloaded the new DLC. So it looks like we can get a moon theme for our Xbox. Uh, I might check that out. I think my theme is a tired old thing. I haven't changed it in a long time. So, um, oh, and the zombie soundtrack, that's supposed to be this this big deal. I don't know. I haven't, I'll have to check those things out. But but that's what's in the Xbox patch. A bunch of security fixes, which you know often go unappreciated because you haven't seen the problem yet. But, uh, you know, those of you guys who, who've played Infinity Ward games where they don't do these security fixes and things like the Rust Domination glitch, the Care Package glitch, the Javelin glitch, just destroy, you know, your favorite game for a while um you know if you think back to what that was like then you can start to appreciate what what Treyarch has done uh, on these uh you know security updates now i know oh oh i didn't even mention it they um they came out with a new playlist the new playlist is uh, i think it's called express playlist or something like that and and here are the differences one lobbies are shortened to 30 seconds i forget if it used to be 60 or 45 but uh but the lobby time that you wait around for the game to start is shorter also there's no ghost and there's no second chance so now this is just the first night of playing but here's my observation so far. My observation is that, you know, of course, without the ghost, that's really awesome. Without second chance, that's really awesome. But because players aren't running ghost, they're all switching to these Strella secondaries. And I think it's the Strella. Is that what takes down air support? It, it, Team Art was just on fire tonight, and he was getting chopper gunners in every single game. Chopper gunners and dogs, chopper gunners and dogs, like five, six games in a row because the guy's a man. Anyway... He was getting like two kills with them because it seemed like every lobby that we ran into, because they can't, you know, run with Ghost all the time and not worry about air support, the change that they've made is they've they started carrying anti-air secondaries instead of pistols or, or whatever. So, um, so that's a new thing, and it's interesting. A, a lot of gamers like to think that they are master game designers. Like, dude, I've played Call of Duty a lot. I would be fantastic. You know, I would totally help you. I'm a genius at, at designing games. But, um, you know, sometimes you have to throw these things out in the wild to really see what the effect is. I did not anticipate everyone running Strella secondaries, although it sounds obvious in hindsight, uh, when you took away their ghost. I've often thought about the fact that only giving them pistols as secondary makes them more likely to run Strellis secondaries, like that, like happened, you know, in Black Ops, right? You know, in uh, in Black Ops, uh, because the secondaries weren't as strong as like shotguns or uh, machine pistols, people run Strellis a little more often. Well, when you, it turns out when you take away Ghost, they run it even more often, and uh, and that might impact which air support is best for the Custom Express playlist. Maybe something like the bomber class or napalm are going to be smarter ideas or the um the sentry guns with no ghost uh, th those seem like smarter ideas than something like an attack helicopter because those things are dropping out of the sky like flies so uh, anyway i hope you enjoyed this extra long patch update and have a nice day and now for videos you may have missed uh, the first one the one on the left is kind of this well thought out uh black ops report card uh, one problem with that by the way and when i first uploaded it yesterday it didn't have uh, the a game audio and voice audio balance correctly so i re-uploaded it's fixed if that was bothering you uh when you tried to watch it the first time you can check it out now it's all better um and then on the right i, I so a few days ago i tried to do a video letting you guys know about the black ops modern warfare 3 perks and it got like a strike and and then i give an update on how the strike on my channel was handled and stuff like that and i also do a review of nine songs it's a movie on netflix instant streaming and it's like the dirtiest movie you'll ever see on on netflix instant streaming it, it's just it's pretty much high class porn i think and and uh and you know it I kind of, you know, gave my review on, you know, how I felt about uh, watching what is a real movie with real actors and, and genuine plots and like the whole thing with like sex in the film. So, uh, so two good videos. I hope that you guys uh, enjoy the review, the killstreak update, the whole nine yards, and uh, and take it easy. Until next time.